Hello and welcome to this animation explaining a student-centered innovation in the science laboratory. I'm going to describe the changes implemented to enhance the student learning experience. So let's start. This innovation aims to reduce over-assessment, improve feedback uptake and develop lifelong skills in students such as reflection and self-assessment. When students arrive in third-level education, they engage in a learning environment often centered on lectures. The lecture environment has now become a rich area for understanding, where lecturers are often seen as facilitators of learning. In science, the laboratory represents another powerful learning environment. Here, students can learn employable technical skills and also soft skills such as working as a team. Traditionally, lab reports have been the main assessment method. They help develop report writing skills and theoretical learning in addition to data interpretation. But science students become so inundated with the quantity of lab reports, they lose focus on other elements of the learning process in the lab. If there is one report due for each lab session in a term, and the students performed four practical subjects across a six-term degree, they will produce 240 reports in total. We have to ask are we over-assessing the same skill by taking this approach? But with all these reports, results can stay stagnant with no improvement, with feedback, one would expect to see improvements with subsequent submissions. So why were grades not improving? From correcting, it was clear feedback was not being implemented and one wondered if the reports were being proofread. Was this due to the excessive number of lab reports students were expected to perform? Other questions were raised about the development and assessment of practical skills in labs. This led to a to-do list, reduce over-assessment, improve feedback uptake, introduce self-assessment and skill set tests as well as make the lab manual more interactive. So let's see how these were addressed. To reduce over-assessment, the number of lab reports was reduced from 10 to 4 with a critical element put in place to assess these four reports. This sent an on introducing an incremental marking system. The four lab reports would be worth 4, 7, 9 and 10 percent. The aim was that this would incentivize students to engage with feedback and develop an always improving mindset. This approach changed the traditional mindset. Students appreciated and developed a thirst for feedback so they could improve. Having less lab reports would allow students to have time for other studies, or relaxing, or working on their physical and mental health maintaining a better work-life balance. Students completed a self-assessment form. This made them aware of the strengths, weaknesses and areas for improvement in their work. This helps develop an always improving mindset in students, a lifelong skill for success according to the works of David Boud amongst others. So what was the impact of this innovation? Firstly, the incremental system led to improved feedback uptake and higher quality lab reports. Skill set tests improved practical technique while self-assessment helped students develop a reflective, self-aware mindset. Finally, changes to the lab manual improved higher order cognitive thinking. Students now understood the role of feedback and became hungry for it. Lab report quality, practical and soft skills were each enhanced. Students now possessed an always improving mindset and were able to reflect on and self-assess their work. This innovation helps produce higher quality graduates with skills suited to employment and successful careers. Thank you for listening and best of luck achieving your learning and teaching goals.